Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to focus on uh, working with the project panel inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. Now if you head down to the bottom left panel, which is highlighted in blue, that is the project panel. And whenever it's highlighted in blue, it's indicating that that's the panel that's active and ready to be worked in. So now you've noticed I've imported different type of media inside the panel. We have our video here, I have some photos, I have some audio, and I even started a sequence. You'll notice here in the timeline, ready to work. So you can view all of your items inside the project panel a couple different ways. This is the icon view, you notice it's highlighted in blue, and that view shows the visual side of it. To me, this is what I like working with because I just like seeing the images and I can my eye can grab it and I know which one it is. I just like that better. But there's also the list view option, which you can click on it, and it just has more of the information. It'll have the frame rate, the length. You can also scroll down here on the bottom and drag it across. There's a lot more information added if you prefer that. Now, if you prefer the list view, but you wish there was a little bit more uh, visual aspect to it, come up here under the project tab, go down to preview area, and if you click that, it'll have a little tiny preview here of whichever one you have highlighted. So that way you can work in the list view and have some sort of visual thing. But because I like working in icon view, I'm gonna go back and turn that off and then switch to icon. Now, if you like this icon view, but you wish you could kind of move them around in different clumps and organize them a different way, right next to the icon view, you can see this freedom view, click it. And this way you can drag and kind of throw them out wherever you like, almost as if you're organizing or doing a puzzle and you're spreading the pieces out however you like. But once again, I like the icon, so I'm gonna go back to the icon. Now, as you can imagine in this window, there's only, what, seven things here. But if you have 70 or 80, you have a bunch of different type of songs and, and B-roll and all those different things, you wanna be able to organize this a little bit better. So this is all just in the general area. But I'm gonna teach you how to make uh, what they call bins. It's essentially like a folder. So let's head down to the bin area. It looks like a folder and it says new bin. Click on it, it prompts you to label it immediately. So I'm gonna name this video. And now I'm gonna grab all of my videos and drag and drop. And grab one more video and throw it in here. So now you notice I have a video, a video folder, which is a bin, and there's the three videos in there. Now let's start another one for the two photos I have. So let's head down to new bin, click it. Once again, it prompts you to, to label it already. And I'm gonna name it photo. Now instead of going individually one by one, you can also do this, shift, and hold it down, it'll grab them all and just move them at one time. So now we have two bins, which look like folders. We have the video bin and we have a photo bin. Let's create one more bin for the audio. Let's just call it music. Let's grab this bad boy and boom. So now we have the sequence, we have the video bin, we have the photo bin, and we have the music bin. So that way, if you have 30 videos, you can put them all in there. If you have 25 photos, put them all in there. You have 10 songs or sound effects, put them all in there. So that way you can organize them and have this visually free. Now, if you go back down to list view, you'll also notice it this way. You'll see the sequence there. You have the videos with a little drop down menu, and then you can go through the videos or click on the photos and go down there, and you can do it that way. I'll go back to icon view. Or if you prefer the icon view like I do, you can just click inside and you'll access all the videos. Now you can also do a bin inside of a bin, if you'd like, just for further kind of subfolders. Another way, the way that I prefer, if you're hovering over the area with your mouse, right mouse click, see where it says new bin? You can just start a new bin there. So let's just name this one B-roll whenever we import B-roll. Click it, now you have a new bin. So to me, the right mouse click is the fastest and easiest way. Same with importing footage and all, to me that's just the best shortcut. That being said, let's head down here to the bottom icon next to the new bin. It'll say new item, you click on that. There's a lot of different options in here, but let's head up to the sequence section. And this is how you create a new sequence. You'll notice there's sequence presets for the different type of media you might already have or whatever your project you want it to be. Start a sequence with that in mind. So if you have a you know 1080p, 24 frames a second, that's already pre-done, just click start, you're good to go. Now, for some reason, if you wanna manipulate it to have different options, go up here to where it says settings, and this way you can manually change all the different aspects of whatever you want your sequence to be. And once you figure that out, if you like the preset or the uh, custom, we'll go back, let's just say we wanna do the preset. So let's do the high def 1080, 
1080p, 24 frames a second. We'll click OK. And you'll notice it popped down a new sequence down here. So let's highlight it. We're going to change the name. And let's just do, you know, let's just change it to sequence two. And that's how you start a new sequence. So like I just explained about the right mouse click again for the new bins, you can also do the sequence that way. So just right mouse click, new item, and there's the sequence. So it's the same thing as hitting this tab down here. You see all these items here? If you just do right mouse click, new item, same thing. And you get to that exact same page. So to me, I found right mouse click is just the quickest because you get, and you're working, just right mouse click, boom, 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 versus heading down and like trying to hunt for the icon and so on. Now also, once you start getting more items in here, there's gonna be a lot of things, all the different videos and all that stuff. You can use this little scroll bar if you wanna make it larger or smaller. Same thing with the list view. You can make it a little smaller or larger, whatever your preference is. So now we've kind of gone over all the bottom items. Head up here to the top. This is the basic project tab and then all the different bins we have. Also, if you head over to the effects tab, it has all the different effects listed here. I generally don't grab effects out of here because I like to do it when I'm further down the road in my editing process and I can just change to the effects layout, which I'll show you in a future video. Now, the one thing I want to show you too that's helpful is because this is a smaller area. And like I said, when you're importing a lot of footage, you might want more space. If you head up here to the top, to the middle, you'll notice now it's currently in the blue section where it says editing. I'm going to switch it to the one to the left called the assembly. You notice that highlights blue and that creates the assembly. So now it's blowing up our project panel much, much, much larger. So it's the exact same thing, just a lot more real estate. And then when you're adding all the different stuff here, you can organize it quicker. So when I first start a project, I like to blow it up here. Much more real estate. Start throwing all of your media in, starting creating bins, organizing, put them in the different sections. And this is the best place to organize. Think about it as a big table and you're doing a puzzle and you can spread out all the pieces and just get an idea of what you're looking at, separate them. And then when you kind of put it in sections, then you can go back down to here on the top, right? Click the editing tab and it's already organized. Now, one more thing I want to show you quickly is a little shortcut, a little keyboard shortcut. Whenever a, a panel is highlighted, you notice when it changes, if you click the tilt -a key, which is right above the tab key, has like a little squiggly line with a mark underneath it. If you click that, it opens into full frame. Click it again, it goes back. So here we go, the timeline. Hit the tilt -a key, which is above the tab key with a little squiggly line and a little like comma underneath it. Click it, full screen. So this helps when you're working on different things and you want to blow it up bigger. Just hit tilt -a and it throws it full frame. That's just very helpful if you want to just kind of quickly blow it up and see it in a bigger version or especially when you're working with the project panel and you want more space to be able to organize. I hope everything I showed you helped and I hope it was easy to follow. And the best way to learn editing is just step by step, inch by inch. Eventually it all makes sense. And then you'll be on your way to making fantastic videos and movies. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching my video. If you want to subscribe or even just get a simple thumbs up, that would help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And I'm just trying to grow my channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.